Hey guys, I wanted to show you exactly how I got my job as a data analyst. I know the job search can be really difficult right now and I want to show you what I think helped make me stand out from 100, 200 resumes at the job that I applied to. So really quickly I'll show you exactly what my GitHub looks like. Um, I have a combination of Python projects, SQL projects, Tableau, Power BI, and Streamlit projects. Now, I'll just get right into it, and I think what helped me stand out from others in my interview with my current manager is the Power BI projects. Now, I do have a collection of Power BI projects that I worked on and I'll show you in a second what they look like but before I get into that I do want to point out one of the pain points I think when it comes to the job that I currently work at is everything is essentially very old I guess the scripting that they use they use COBOL um, as well as I guess most financial companies banks right what is it like 18 80 percent metric of banks and insurance industries use COBOL to run their operations now I don't want to go too deep in the weeds in COBOL but it's essentially it's like Python right it, it, you can run SQL scripts you can do tra data transformations you can output data similar to like pivot tables and, and have some sort of I don't know I guess output that other people can use but essentially that's how our tables are made in our company is in COBOL now I think the reason why the Power BI dashboards and projects that I've built help me stand out is because we're currently looking to modernize our our book of business essentially. I mean, so far everything's on a static web page, which I might go into in another video, but everything's on a static web page. It's not in an Excel document, it's not in a in a dashboard that you can interact with so I think that's why these Power BI projects really help me stand out now I'll show you a couple examples and while I pull it up actually the job was really an internship right it was an internship while I was still in school I was studying data science and you know machine learning AI data transformation, SQL, dashboards, all that stuff. I actually got hands-on with AWS while in school, so that was really helpful. So data engineering side of things. But anyways, it was an internship which then progressed to a full-time job. So going back to the dashboards, just to give you a sense of what I made and again what helped me get the job was these dashboards so I have a couple here but I'll just go over some of them I don't really remember exactly what the data is behind but you know you can see I have maps here I got line charts bar graphs you can click through and select different months if it works I'm not sure if it works but there you go December you can see it it's all interactive which again we didn't have in our company so these kinds of little implementations automations I think helped me get the job so here's another one Google top search trends 2021 Afghanistan you can see the weekly trend over over time Copa America you can quickly at a glance see what's going on here right it doesn't take too much time to visually see what's happening right dogecoin remember remember that so it's pretty popular up to, up until may and then it start to die down right so a little analytics there and so on let me pull up another one. Sales report. Now, 
currently I do have dashboards that have something similar to this not exactly but it, it's somewhat similar I mean this is more I think of a realistic look at what you would be making at a company states I mean I can zoom in here and drill down and figure out exactly what's going on in each state in the US right California this is what's happening sorry I had a phone call so basically this is something that would be more of a realistic look at a dashboard maybe it'll have your company colors you know try to match if you're looking to work at I don't know Microsoft try to match their company colors with the with the dashboard so you know I have some more dashboards here this is kind of similar to the previous one hide this stuff here I mean Power BI is really it's really powerful but it's also very limited you know I wish sometimes you can have some simple Excel formulas that you can do in Power BI but really you need to learn DAX right so we, we won't get into that right now but essentially <clears throat> the point I'm trying to make is if you really you want to find a pain point within your company right maybe I think that's one of the tips I would give in an interview right like if they say hey what what questions do you have for us right I would be like so what are your pain points right what is something that you're trying to figure out now that you're trying to solve you know because ultimately as an analyst as a data scientist data engineer I mean whatever software engineer I mean you're here to solve problems you're here to build things you're here to make people's lives easier I mean that's how I feel um, especially when I first joined right it, it, it was okay how do I make this process faster how do I optimize this right I'll go into more detail on that but I really just wanted to point out what I think help me stand out you know it was a less than one percent chance of me getting this internship which led to a full-time job and you know it, it's really those little things you know and also I do want to point out that not only the dashboards I mean anyone can make a dashboard but it's really your drive your motivation you know why do you want to work in the database you know why do you want to do this job do you want to just get paid for it I mean for me personally I didn't really have access to SQL databases I mean it everything was a Kaggle data set you just downloaded a pre a, a pre filtered pre clean data set maybe build your own data set you know build your own SQL tables and build a project out of that that's what I would do personally but really I have all these SQL projects speedy spoon so for example I did use Codecademy I really like that website I really like that platform <clears throat> and essentially uploaded everything that I did onto that in Codecademy onto GitHub right select all from orders limit 100 select the date from order that order by one order by date you know I mean back then this didn't really make much sense to me but now with almost two years of database experience SQL writing SQL this is this is just easy stuff now you know and maybe in the future I'll, I'll write some I'll do some tutorial videos maybe solve some SQL questions I mean let me know what you would want to see so that again I can help solve your problems so you know it's really nothing crazy I don't think the sequel part really helped stand out for me they did ask if I knew sequel and I said hey you can go to this sequel projects folder you can see everything that I've done in sequel I have Python projects which I mean I was writing all these models right and funny enough I don't 
use this at all anymore, right? I mean, we have, we just don't have the need for that. Again, in the financial industry, it's all actuaries. Um, so actuarial science. So unfortunately I didn't get to use much Python. I do have data pipelines that I could go more into depth about right so in terms of automation again having sql statements exported and having data transformation in python and then having it email it to me every single week on a regularly occurring schedule monthly basis i mean it's all very helpful stuff which i might go over in the future so overall i think if i if i see my contributions settings here in github you can see i really spent <clears throat> a lot of time november december january february march you know like almost daily i think that's also something that you should really factor into you know how much do you want this right i mean you really do control your luck essentially right eventually someone's gonna see your potential someone's gonna see hey this guy or this girl can really help us out you know and I think that's something that is really undervalued or maybe not undervalued but um, what's the word I'm looking for really overlooked so I think that's all I have for you guys today and I you know let me know what you think I should what kind of content I can really help with I mean I love data maybe I'll do some data questions you know building some pipelines building databases let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll consider it so really that's all I have um, I do think working daily practicing every single day that discipline to do what you have to do you know everyone has to earn an income everyone has to work right and the more work you put in i really do think you do control your luck so if you have any questions feel free to reach out if you want to see some specific content please let me know and i'll be more than happy to try to make more videos for you guys so thank you so much thanks so much for watching and i hope you guys have a good day